the Freelander TD4 clutch. Have you got a very low bite point and it feels like there's air in the system, but you've bled it, uh, in my case, I power bled it either forward or backwards with a Gunson Easy Bleed. Uh, pumped it the traditional way while bleeding. Um, open the bleed nipple on the downstroke. Get somebody to push it down quickly. Do up the bleed nipple when lifting the pedal. Do that lots and lots of times, but still the bite point's very low. Um, so I got fed up with it, like most people do get fed up with it. And what I'm going to do is just modify the pedal slightly. So it's quite easy to remove the clutch master cylinder. This lever that goes onto the pedal can just be pushed off, levered off the uh, pin that's attached to the pedal. No other things that you need to do. Um, that piece of plastic clip you'll need later. Uh, that, you, you leave that clip in while you're leaving it off, but you just squeeze the ends in to take it out or take it, uh, detach it from the, this lever. Uh, I've broke, broken off pieces of plastic here because I'm trying to lever this piece off the end of the metal. You see it turns around and it's obviously obviously got some sort of recess in there which is uh, stopping it coming from this very hard plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that plastic off, do a little slot down it and I'm going to make my own piece of replacement plastic. You could make it out of aluminium or even steel. So I've got this wire brush that's fairly worn out very hard plastic um, so I'm going to cut a piece of plastic drill some holes to make a replacement for this end piece and hopefully it'll work the diameter of that rod is 6 mil this hole is about 13 mil so we'll do the same in our new piece of plastic and I'm going to make it 5 millimeters longer which will give me about about another inch of extra movement at the pedal you can always make it shorter or longer afterwards after we trial fit it either by padding the hole a nut in it or something or by drilling the hole a little bit deeper and there's the piece of plastic removed had to cut a little slot down there with the angle grinder and you can see the end piece of metal is wider at six and a half millimeters which is why you wouldn't just pull off right, and there's our new piece of plastic doesn't look that pretty I've got the original um, plastic clip inside the hole which fits okay which tests the uh, width and the hole diameter and so you can see that where the pedal's going to be, it's about another five millimetres further away, longer. And the end of our uh, master cylinder fits hopefully snugly on there. There we go, that's a nice tight fit. That's a six and a half mil hole. And now we'll try and refit it. So here it is when it's refitted. You can see the piece of plastic, hopefully. There we go. Hang on, let's just turn around. Now you can see the piece of plastic fitted there. Fits in nicely. And again, you have to use a screwdriver to lever it back on again. Pushing against the piece of plastic ducting to force it on. Uh, the clip keeps it in place. Uh, I did add a little drop of super glue down the end of the hole in the plastic, just to help a little bit. But one thing you have to do, because the, the pedal will raise a lot, lot further than its normal position if it's let, if it's left to. So uh, you can see that where that cable tie is, that basically keeps that switch in position, which is a switch that is on the clutch pedal. And that uh, allows it to act as a pedal stop. So it stops it coming up any further and stops the pedal and the plastic pulling away from the rod. Otherwise it would pull off the end and the clutch pedal would be about two inches higher than it normally is. Just look for the right position by comparing your piece of plastic with uh, the rod and where it's gonna sit on the pin of the pedal and then tighten up the cable tie until the pedal sits in that uh, position, that top position. Um, then the piece of plastic won't pull off the rod. Um, it's surprising how much higher the pedal can go if it's allowed to and the clutch master cylinder rod itself can move a lot more than uh, it was allowed to previously and the position is about right with respect to the other pedals and whereas now um, when it was previously right next to the floor in terms, in terms of its clutch engagement uh, position if we see where it is now so i'll put it in first gear and we'll just see that's all the way to the floor so 
race, race, race. It's going to be a good, uh, good inch, inch and a half off the floor, which is a lot, lot better than it was before. Blooming marvellous, in fact. And because the clutch pedal's higher, uh, it's not actually uh, resting on the clutch and wearing out the clutch any more than it was before. Just so that little bit of play at the start now doesn't really make any difference and it's a lot lot better clutch and easier to go through the gears and say so the bike point is about is about there long way off the bottom so that's how i quickly improved my uh clutch i uh, hope that helps somebody i know a lot of people have been stuck on trying to bleed their clutches i think somehow a tiny little bit of uh, air remains in the system and you can probably feel it a little bit Maybe yeah, there's that much of air, not very much at all. But where the clutch pedal is already sitting low on the floor, it's enough to make a difference, and it was impossible to bleed out. So, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.